up there YouTube here we are with a brand new video we are gonna be doing the biography version I get of the red RC I wasn't sure if streamers needed to do it so I'm gonna make one anyway just because um, what I do as a streamer is different than what anybody else is doing so basically I'm gonna show you what I do and everything so I'm gonna switch on over to a new um what's it called a new scene on OBS so I can show you what I what I do exactly if you haven't seen any of my stream highlight videos which they will all be linked in the description so please go check them out leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so basically this is what I do I do this stuff this is what I do on my stream I will I sketch out a piece and I literally paint it on stream. So this one this piece we just finished today um, and everything and I have all my paint stuff I did here all of what I use is all right here next to me and everything and I will literally just paint and um, sketch out and talk to anybody who comes in and all that. Shout out to Nicole and all and Gabriella, all my mods, you guys are the best. And everything um, but yeah so basically I usually just paint I sketch out a piece of so get an idea of what I want to do and I sketch it out and I come up with a background idea so I'm gonna go through some of my art that I've done for this RC or during the RC on stream and everything that you guys might have seen in the videos so let's begin so this this is gonna be the next time-lapse video that you guys will see after this video because um, this is um, the piece that we just finished today on stream, but in this video I want it up beforehand. So, here we go. So this is a piece for Red Random. Um, I don't really have a name for this piece, but I've done, um, I like to call it um, trapped, I'm, I, or in a way because he looks very trapped and squished, and from the two lines, I guess you could say I I don't know I just kind of I just kind of like go about it and draw it really I mean um, these creatures that I make you'll see a lot of these faces creatures represent insecurities and um, these uh, traps like things or whatever uh, these like I don't know I'm gonna call them straps these straps um, represent being trapped within your insecurities at least that's how I see it because I grew up with insecurities. And, uh, most of us probably have it, it you know it's a common thing so what you know just be open about it I don't have any more I mean I'm not really insecure about anything anymore so you know we all go out of it it's then it's okay it's okay so just you know human nature to doubt yourself I guess in a way anyway here on to the next piece is a piece for red nicks now it is kind of bright because of um, how I made it I feel like because I'm gonna try to bring it down a bit but um, basically this is supposed to be Harold um, in a Harold as a warrior you know his Harold his whole I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen a better picture of this so you guys can see because it's kind of too bright um, and my lighting is I guess that's kind of better so um, in a way but as you guys can see but yeah I need that light so anyway but yeah this is Harold in fact I am not even done with this so um, real quick I'm gonna just gonna go and do what I do but yeah so basically I'll just you know go and edit on pieces and on during stream and, and shit so today on stream before we actually made the piece we did all of these lighting effects so I'll probably make a speed art of the whole stream because it is a stream highlight I would do funnies and fails of it but I'm not sure if that would really work because there really doesn't nothing really funny happens I guess when I stream because I'm not really playing games right now I play I just do art but once I get the equipment I will be playing games so um, one of my goals um, with my art is to definitely become an artist in a gallery, you know, that sells stuff in the gallery. 
that's my biggest goal. That's, that's where I see myself in a year is in galleries and everything. So, this is a piece for Soar. Um, I know it's for the wrong team, but hear me, hear me out, hear me out. Um, I wanted to do a piece, you know, for Soar as them as well because I really love their logo and I really love Soar in general. And same with Red. I love everything about Red and everything about Soar. And I wanted to do their um, a piece because I was telling Mac about the red one and he wanted me to do a sore one. So I'm like, okay, um, I'll, I'll do a sore one for you, Mac. And he loved it. A bunch of people loved it. Shout out to all the sore people who saw it and loved it. Sethi, um, uh, Smitty, I think, or yeah, Shifty, not Shifty, Shifty. Smitty might have seen it. And um, Mac and everyone, Butters, everybody who has ever seen it and liked it, thank you guys so much. And, and also Astronova, thank you guys. I appreciate all the love and support on this piece. I really do like it. It's one of my favorite ones and um, that I've done. So I'm probably going to have to save one, get a print for myself. So, and also, if any store member sees it and wants a print of it, um, contact my business email in the about page. Okay, on to the next piece. So, I am not quite done with this piece. Um, I still have to do some editing um, over here and such um, and everything so I'm going to probably do that after stream as well but basically I was diagnosed with anxiety and I wanted people to feel how I feel in a piece when I'm anxious in a way so I, what I did is I drew a bunch of pills because that goes with anxiety very jumbled together and make trying to make people feel very like claustrophobic or like um, very anxious because it's so small they're the very small like um, spaces same with the lines on the bottom so that's that's the reason why I did this piece like the way it is so. here is the red piece that we did um, this is the red piece that we have done. Uh, I really like this piece as well as the sword piece. It's just this one's probably my more favorite because I love the colors. I love the red. Um, we, I use this ink um, by Dollar and Roni. So shout out to them for sending me some inks and also to Liquitex for sending me some inks. It's really cool. So. Definitely like one of my favorite pieces. All, all the pieces for the Red Reserve members will be going to the house. If I fly out there, I'll be handing them to uh, them myself. But if not, then I'll probably send them to the P.O. Box. So if you are watching this, Gandhi or anybody from the house, make sure you guys check the P.O. Box as I will be sending all this stuff to you guys. There's about like each there's a piece for each and one of these guys and then the piece of the whole house which is this the red dessert piece speaking of a piece for somebody for Mula, if you are watching this here is your piece um i'm i'm sorry i i kind of this was at the time where i just kept grinding and grinding and i just had no idea what to do so like i i'm not sure what else to do to this piece um normally i do a lot more um as like uh, i'll show you guys later on but I don't know, just not, nothing was coming to me, and I'm sorry. I can do another piece for you. I swear to God. Um, but but yeah. So um, I actually don't have a piece in my pile, and I don't know where it is. But yeah, like I was so like I was saying, um, I don't know what to do with this piece, and I'm sorry about that. Like as an artist, doing stuff. It's hard sometimes because you just can't think of anything. Like um, that's why support people who uh, you know do comic books. You know, always have the story out first. So because otherwise it's hard to think of it. And trust me, I've learned the hard way with my children's book that I will be showing later on. So this piece is a this piece is a very dark piece. Um, basically, uh, I'll, if you want to know like the background story of it, um, I will have a document linked to the background of this piece it's called the monster piece so you'll see monster piece background probably be just like a gallazo or so of like what well, i would be writing it down or whatever so feel free to check that out if you want to um, if not well then 
please leave a comment and don't forget to like our video. This is another piece for the red member, for one of the red house members, Kiwi. This is your piece. If you are watching this, I hope you will enjoy this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces as well. Um, so kind of like the first piece I showed you guys, um, the rings mean the same thing, you know, being trapped within in one's insecurities, and the wings represent, you know, flying away from them. So very deep, deep, and dark. And last but not least, all right, nope, we have one more. Never mind. And then here we have our Grim Reaper piece that was the first faceless creature I have ever made. Um, he, and ever since then, I just loved doing these creatures and I've loved, you know, you know, exploring with these guys because, frankly, they're kind of fun to draw. So, yeah. Um, and last but not least, we have our faceless angel. Our faceless angel piece is probably the best piece that we have. Um, just due to the fact of the colors and the background. Now, um, I'm gonna show you guys a cool um, effect that I do on pieces during my. Alrighty, we are back. So I got my ink ready. I can drip. So I got my ink ready, um, ready to be spread on. I got my water here. It's in an old G Fuel cup. That's kind of funny, and that I use for my paint water. So I, all I do, you know, is I'm just gonna get like a bunch of my ink here and just kind of squirt onto it, squirt on it, squirt it, you know, squirt it all over. Yeah. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to paint this to where, uh, or make to make it go pretty fast to uh, get this to stay wet. And I'll show you guys what I do because I need the pe the the ink wet in order for me to do this effect that I do. Now I gotta hurry up and grab some newspaper. So I have a newspaper here already. To go. Now I'm gonna squeeze. I'm going to press on the newspaper and down onto the piece. And are you ready guys? Now I'm going to peel it off. Okay. Now I'm going to do it on the opposite side as well of the newspaper because different sides of newspapers like to um, do different things. And then I'll let that dry. So now you can kind of see the orange inside. Or what I'll do is I'll crumple up the paper and I'll just go about doing this way too. I'll just kind of, if I want to add like a very specific detail to it. So. And then you know, I can reuse this newspaper once the paint dries or throw it away. that's what I do that's pretty much what I do um if you guys want me to make a video of me actually sketching a piece on this piece of paper let me know in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna switch over to my face cam so yeah I can say a proper goodbye we'll be right back all right guys thank you so much for clicking on my video and watching my biography submission it might be long I am kind of sorry for that but it needs to be long so I can show you guys what I do, who I am, and why I'm so passionate about art. So, but yes, art, you know, art's my life and it, oh, it pretty much always will be and always has been. Um, so, um, thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting with me over on my Twitch. Um, I've, before the Red RC started, I was at 207 followers and now we're about almost 30 we've almost gained 30 in the last week thank you guys so much for all the support and all of the love on twitter i appreciate it so much hashtag red tga and hashtag r3d on twitter thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to uh, like click the video comment and subscribe if you want me to make a video on this piece
All right. Have a good night.